What up unicorns? Welcome back to another video. Today we are on 8th, I think it's the 8th episode of Salad Time. So if you're new to my channel you won't know what Salad Time is. Basically I just make different salads from time to time here on this channel. So that is what Salad Time is and this week we are doing a couscous and apple salad and it is, it is scrumptious. It is a good tasty salad. I have been taking this with me to Polytech for lunch and it's just it's just good it's it's easy because you can chuck it together ahead of time and it keeps pretty well in the fridge I tend to make enough for three servings and so that's what I'm going to show you today there are a few ingredients that I don't add until the day of but I will I will show you those as well so let's just jump into it so I have pre-prepared some couscous I use about half a cup for every day so I've got a cup and a half of couscous here and then two cups of water which I have just added a little bit of uh, veggie stock to as well you don't need much because you've got all the flavors of the other ingredients but I just like to have a little bit of veggie stock just to give the couscous a little bit of flavor so two cups of water half a teaspoon of veggie stock and then a cup and a half of couscous and then you just mix it together Oh, is that right, Luna? So I've got Luna down here having a tantrum that I'm not giving her attention. Um, and then what I do is I just mix it up and then I stick it in the fridge and let it cool down. So let's add that to our bowl. And then just as I'm pouring it, you can see that I'm kind of trying to fluff it up a little bit, trying to break apart the couscous, because as you can see by that big bit right there, it does need to be broken apart a little bit. So. Let's do that before we add the other ingredients. I find a fork ideal for kind of breaking the couscous apart. All right, when you have broken apart your couscous, you can then add in your peas. This is just over a cup of peas. Normally I would put half a cup per day, but I was running low on peas. So we've got just over a cup here. Mix that in. All right, next ingredient, we have got three small carrots. I would say this is the equivalent to, I don't know, a carrot, a large carrot and a half, maybe two large carrots. But yeah, this is the size of the ones I buy. I normally just add two large carrots. The next ingredient is raisins. I tend to add a quarter of a cup per day. So three quarters of a cup in total. Now, of course, raisins are the type of thing like, if you don't like them, don't add them in or add less. I really like them. So quarter of a cup for me is just like the perfect amount. I actually read a meme recently that said that like white people tend to add <laughs> raisins to food that's perfectly fine already. And I laughed because I'm totally one of those white people. <laughs> It's so true. The next ingredient is some almonds. I've just got these sliced ones. I was umming and ahhing recently about whether I wanted almonds or pistachios. The reason I chose almonds was simply price. Pistachios are actually like, in my mind, better in this recipe, but I'm a student, so I can't be affording pistachios. At this point I'm going to divvy it up into the three serving sizes. Right, so there is our three serving sizes. So I'm going to put these ones to the side and I'm going to put this one back in this bowl here because it's just easier to mix in this bowl than it is in this bowl. Sorry, I forgot to say that I add the baby beetroot in before I put the other two to the side. Um, this is just tinned. You could add a gorgeous like roasted beetroot rather than tinned if you had the time. 
but I just don't have the time right now. So we are going to be using tinned, but I really like beetroot, so I find that it's uh, it doesn't really matter if it's tinned or, or roasted. It still makes this recipe super delicious. Okay, now these ones can go to the side. I'm gonna go store them in the fridge until the day that I intend to eat them. Now for the three ingredients that I tend to keep for the day that I'm serving. I just find that they don't keep as well mixed in with all the other foods. So I'm going to add some greens, some baby leaf lettuce in this case. Going to add some cucumber. I'm just going to use, I don't know, about a quarter to a fifth of the cucumber. You're going to use half of an apple. This is a royal gala apple, but any apple that you like. I just find that the sweetness of royal gala goes so well in recipes like this. And then we're going to give it a good stir. Before transferring it back to the bowl that we're going to eat it from. And here we have it. Now I assume you're looking at this and thinking, wow, that's a big serving. And it is, and I do have more and I will eat all of this in one go. But the thing is, when I'm studying, I just, I'm really hungry. And so having a big filling meal like this just helps me get through the day. And I am going to, not for Luna, sorry Luna. I'm going to add a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette. I would make my own, but I just can't be bothered today. So a little bit of that. It doesn't need much because there are so many flavors going on here. But of course you can add as much as you like and yeah i'm just going to tuck into this because it's delicious and i'm hungry <laughs> anyway thanks so much for watching unicorns i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful rest of your day bye i'm sorry oh worst dog owner in the world how dare something not be for her